time here. I've seen them here two years ago. First time. At uh, this one, yeah. Third year here. It's a four day audio and visual musical tapestry. <laughs> celebration of every genre and style. What began in 2007 as a small homegrown gathering of local bands, the Great South Bay Music Festival has grown into an international power event, attracting fans of all ages every summer to come together and rock Patchog Shorefront Park. The Great South Bay Music Festival was inspired by the great bands of the 60s and 70s. As the founder, Jim Faith, tells me, it was in those outdoor venues that the musical world was changed forever. So he took that vibe, he packaged it, and he brought it right here to Long Island. I grew up in Brooklyn and uh, would go to Central Park constantly and Prospect Park, and the outdoor festivals and concerts were just all families. It wasn't just uh, one age group, or just blues people, or just rock people, or it was a little bit of everything. More than 75 bands from all over the world make the annual trek to take one of the festival's two stages, and Long Island is always well represented. You guys are the youngest members to be inducted into Long Island Hall of yeah. Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, man, uh, we got to meet Billy Joel. It was a pretty great night. We were like, oh my god, I think we're a band. Moved in together in Belmore to make it happen. I drive three hours every day to get to practice, <laughs> but it's totally worth it all. It's good to see everybody again after a yeah, long like, time. Yeah, like, why are you late? Yeah, I know, man. Right? You drive three hours every day. You know there's a cure for that. There is, a helicopter. A helicopter. I haven't figured or out. Or you can just move. Moving back to Long Island, back to Long Island. Is the cure. And if it looks like it's all just fun and games, there's a lot of work that goes into putting on this event. It's a lot of moving parts, and um, I have a great team. Monster's been great to us as a sponsor, as well as O'Rourke, and, uh, so, and the, the food court has gotten a lot better, I think. And with all this high-octane energy... <laughs> And with generations of fans, the music will keep rolling on. Stone Grissom, News 12, Long Island.